Greetings everyone. I hope this message finds you in great spirits and in good health. I know you have been waiting for my latest video, and I apologize for the delay. I had originally planned to post it a week ago on the 10th, but unfortunately, the channel was hit with a community guideline strike, and I can't post anything for 7 days. This has caused the video to be postponed until now. I hope you still enjoy it. Today, we will once again discuss the celebrity world, a topic that I have been avoiding here. I came across a fascinating website, endoftheamericandream.com, where I stumbled upon a wealth of intriguing topics that I simply couldn't resist sharing with all of you. From economic world to mind-bending theories, there's something for everyone on this website. Be sure to check out the description for more information, as there's simply too much to cover in just one video. Now, I understand that the quality of my videos may not be up to par with others, but I assure you that my passion and enthusiasm for the subject matter more than make up for it. And for those who want even more from me, I have a Telegram channel, where I share even more exclusive content. So, without further ado, I invite you to grab a comfortable seat and buckle up. And don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, which you can find in the description box below. Let's get started. If people that lived 50 or 60 years ago could see us today, what would they think of our culture? I believe that the performance of Unholy at the Grammy Awards on Sunday night will go down in history as a pivotal cultural moment. Yes, the horror movie-inspired performance that Sam Smith and Kim Petras came up with was designed to get as much attention as possible. They wanted people like me to talk about it, and that is exactly what I am doing. But just because they were seeking attention, does not change the fact that their performance was unspeakably evil. And it also does not change the fact that millions of their fans absolutely adored it. We have gotten to a point where our culture openly celebrates wickedness, and that is a very dangerous place to be. Sam Smith and Kim Petras knew exactly what they were doing, and the mainstream media was alerted in advance that there will be calls to CBS from outraged Christians. But my sources say the production of this number is going to make a lot of people very upset, and I guarantee there will be calls to CBS from outraged Christians. Apparently, Smith who is 6 foot 5 and a big person, will be playing Satan, there will be a lot of devil type stuff, devil worship, and pyrotechnics like you've never seen. My source adds, it's over the top and really crazy. They understood very well that people like us would be deeply offended by their performance, but they went ahead and did it anyway. Of course there are many other groups that can never be offended on national television under any circumstances. But offending Christians is perfectly okay in this day and age. And CBS knew precisely what was coming. In a tweet that has now apparently been deleted, the official CBS Twitter account boldly declared that we are ready to worship. How sick is that? Quite appropriately, Madonna was picked to introduce this performance, and she made it abundantly clear that she also knew exactly what was about to happen. Before they took to the stage, Madonna made an appearance, asking the crowd. Are you ready for a little controversy? Here's what I've learned after four decades in music. If they call you shocking, scandalous, troublesome, problematic, provocative, or dangerous, you are definitely onto something. I'm here to give thanks to all the rebels out there, forging a new path and taking the heat for all of it. All you troublemakers out there need to know that your fearlessness does not go unnoticed. You are seen, you are heard, and, most of all, you are appreciated. She concluded. So now, speaking of controversy, it gives me great pleasure to introduce two incredibly talented artists who have risen above the noise, the doubt, the critics, into something beautifully unholy. Here are two Grammy Award winners, Sam Smith and Kim Petras. Following Madonna's introduction, Sam Smith and Kim Petras unleashed what was perhaps the most demonic performance that we have ever seen on national television. The following is how the official website of the Grammy Awards described their performance. Surrounded by long-haired acolytes in identical red sheaths, Smith kicked off the performance in an outfit of latex and a devil horn top hat, before Petras made her grand entrance in a giant cage, guarded by a trio of sheet devils. 
Mummy don't know daddy's getting hot, at the body shop, doing something unholy, the duo belted in hellish harmony as a wall of fire erupted on stage behind Petra's personal prison. Needless to say, this performance immediately went viral on Twitter, and many of the users very clearly understood what they had just witnessed. One viewer tweeted. You don't have to be super religious to be disturbed by that Sam Smith devil-worshipping performance. Another posted. I know we on the right probably use the word satanic too often, but this performance from Sam Smith is literally a tribute to Satan. And I think that Liz Wheeler had one of the best tweets of the night. Don't fight the culture wars they say. Meanwhile, demons are teaching your kids to worship Satan. I could throw up. Can you imagine what the rest of the world must be thinking about us after seeing this? This is what high-level entertainment looks like in America in 2023. It is absolutely disgusting. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Later on in the show, host Trevor Noah also demonstrated that he knew in advance that this was coming because he had jokes about it ready to go. After the performance, host Trevor Noah immediately joked about the fact the satanic themes would outrage some viewers. Pretending to be on the phone to his mother, he was heard saying, No mom, it wasn't the actual devil. Yeah, you did warn me about Hollywood. As stars such as Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck laughed along, he ended the call and stated, she said she's praying for all of us. They all think that it is really funny to mock Christians. And they know that only a very small percentage of the population is going to get upset about it. They can literally air a tribute to Satan during our most important music award ceremony, while millions of people are watching, and most people simply do not care. And immediately following the performance, a message popped up on the screen, informing us that all of this was being sponsored by Pfizer. In the entire history of television, I don't know if there has ever been a more perfect match between a performance and a sponsor. None of this is new, nor a fluke, or a coincidence. Year after year, the themes and the symbols are stubbornly recurrent and are becoming increasingly obvious for all to see. There's always been a satanic element in the music industry, but things are clearly being taken to another level. Of course, none of this is organic. The events of the Grammys were all scripted to create a specific narrative. In short, the 2023 Grammys perfectly reflected the sad state of the music industry, as it is being eaten away by the occult elite's incurable disease. Next year, artists that perform at the Grammy Awards will have to come up with something even more demonic to top what Sam Smith and Kim Petras did this year. So what will they do? Will they sacrifice on an altar as they chant praises to the devil? We have reached a point where literally anything goes, and nobody seems to care that the fabric of our society is coming apart at the seams right in front of our eyes. Whether you like it or not, this is America's culture now. We have openly embraced evil, and evil has openly embraced us. So, what did you think of this video? If you found it enjoyable and informative, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family, so that more people can benefit from this information. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the researchers and individuals who dedicated their time and energy to uncovering these fascinating facts and advancements. They have made a significant impact on our understanding of the world and have opened up a wealth of knowledge for us to explore. And to all of you who have made it to the end of this video, thank you for your time and attention. I hope this information has been useful and valuable to you. So, until next time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss an episode. It's been a pleasure, and I look forward to our next video together. Thank you, and see you soon.